Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So this is my how-to guide on your iPhone's battery health feature. So most of us have an iPhone and most of us charge our phones overnight. Most of us probably leave it in longer than needed to actually charge our phones. And I think that's a big problem because what we're actually doing is we're actually killing our battery life a lot quicker than it needs to go down. And I don't just mean the battery life of the phone in a day, I just mean the general life of the battery. We're really, really pushing it down when we could be doing some things to actually preserve our battery life and make sure it lasts as long as possible. Some of us don't wanna change our phones every year or every two years if you're on contract. Some people just wanna make sure that they have a phone and they have that phone for like maybe five to 10 years. Some people do, believe me. Um, so what we're going to do today, we're going to look at the phone's battery health and um, what that will show us is how much the phone's life as a whole has actually diminished and where our phone is actually charging to. So first of all, if you go into settings, we're going to scroll down to battery and when you get to battery, we're going to click on that and we're going to open up another menu. Now you'll have another bar, let's say, and what we're gonna see is actually a percentage on that screen. So that screen for me says 91%, which means that when I charge my phone to 100%, I'm only getting about 91% worth of battery in that day. Although the phone is 100%, it's only showing me as, as a whole rather than being the 91% battery. So I'm still getting 100% of 91%. So a couple of tips really just for um, preserving your battery life. And the first one is obvious and I've already said it, don't plug it in overnight because what you're actually gonna be doing is killing your battery a lot quicker. So just don't plug it in overnight, as simple as that. What I would suggest in tip number two is to actually plug it in and charge while you're busy, while you're awake. So if you're cleaning, if you're cooking, if you're doing the washing up, whatever, plug it in while you're doing those things so that you've got something to do, you're occupied, you're not gonna be tempted to pick up your phone because you're busy. I find that if you're plugged in and you're sat next to your phone doing nothing while it's charging, you're gonna be tempted to pick it up and you're gonna use it and you're gonna use YouTube. It's gonna take twice as long to charge. And I always thought that maybe using your phone while it's charging was always a bad thing because you're basically building it up and then knocking it back down again. So charge it while you're awake and charge it while you're busy and occupied. Uh, if you've actually got an Apple Watch, which I do, uh, that could be tip number three. Uh, so while you've got an Apple Watch and you're phone's on charge when you're upstairs or downstairs, wherever it is that you charge your phone, you can still get all your notifications and everything on your Apple Watch and you can even get all your calls come through as well. So that's actually another good little tip there. If you have got an Apple Watch, utilize the power of the Apple Watch and that is that you get most of your notifications when you're away from your phone while it's on charge. So use that. It will save your battery life and only charge obviously at 90 to 95% mark if you want to go that extra go up to the 100% but make sure you plug it or unplug it rather when you get to the full charge that you want to get to. Uh, don't leave it in for longer than it has to and hopefully over time that will preserve your battery life a bit longer so that you're not going to diminish it anymore. So I'm going to start practicing what I preach and only charging it during the day while I can. So if you're enjoying my new how-to videos please do give it a thumbs up, please do subscribe to the channel and as always, click the little bell button and that will notify you every time I post a new video. You can also check out my website, kevinweb.co.uk and also follow me on social media.